Sitting at mile marker zero for the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway is a buoy, but not just an ordinary buoy, an interactive buoy put into position by the Norfolk District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Well, we've had a great partnership with the Corps of Engineers in, in deploying these buoys and, and in the future in maintaining the buoys, and, and we couldn't do this without, without the Corps' contribution. This buoy is not your average, everyday channel marker. In fact, it is jam-packed with high-tech sensors and has the ability to send information in real time. So this buoy will measure weather information, wind, temperature, relative humidity, barometric pressure. It measures water quality, it measures temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen concentration, turbidity, the amount of, of uh, sediment in the water, and also chlorophyll. The buoy is the last one of six placed in the Chesapeake Bay watershed and serves not only as a research and monitoring platform, but as a reminder to the roots of the nation. These are not where you would put buoys necessarily to measure conditions in the open bay, obviously, but the, the truth is that these buoys do more than that. There's the interpretive aspect. They're visible to a large group of people. As you say, they're associated with the Nauticus Museum, and they're associated with the Captain John Smith Trail. I mean, 400 years ago, right here, John Smith was here with his small boat. The Captain John Smith National Historic Water Trail marks the journeys the English explorer made after he helped establish the settlement at Jamestown. The buoys, which transmit data via a cell phone connection, can be accessed by phone at 877 Buoy Bay and transmits this type of information. The current weather conditions in the Elizabeth River at Nauticus. The air temperature is 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Information can also be obtained on the web at www.buoybay.org or at a first-of-its-kind interactive kiosk at the Nauticus Museum in downtown Norfolk. The goal of all these buoys is to try to do a lot with each platform. So in this case we're doing four or five different sets of measurements. They're all broadcast in real time onto the internet, onto the, our phone system, so anybody can access them at any time. In the future, NOAA hopes to receive authorization to place about 20 more of these high-tech buoys in the Chesapeake Bay, and they hope their federal partner, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, will be right there to assist them in accomplishing their goal. They've got the vessels, they've got professional crew, and, and everything just goes really smoothly whenever we use them. So, so that's been a, a really nice partnership, and we hope to keep doing that. In downtown Norfolk, Patrick Bloodgood, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Norfolk District.